Keir Nelson, CEO of Platinum Asset Management. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Hot topic with uh, the unwinding of uh, America's quant easing program, yes. uh, commonly known as money printing. Uh, is the expectation that uh, interest rates around the globe will rise in 2015 and, uh, and beyond? Uh, that scared the market in October, among other things. Uh, what, 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 where, where do you see interest rates uh, going on a short, medium term view around the world? Certainly causes a lot of commentary, and, and how important it is um, from the commentary you think was you know, of, of critical importance. What we have is a world where we have so many distortions, and this is another one. And our view is that the US will see rates gradually creep upwards, but how quickly will depend on labor costs. I think that's the thing to watch, and it'll affect profits, but it also affects um, interest rates. And the consumer in the US is not doing too badly. You're, you're getting some signals occasionally about in the housing market not being as robust as you would have thought, but still. The interesting thing is that China, sorry, that um, both Europe and Japan are talking about QE, or the commentators are. The Japanese are doing it, and in spades, and it's seemingly not having too much effect. And so you're seeing the uh, Japanese yen setting off further. The JGBs are being, for the moment, supported. Which is gov uh, Japanese, uh, Japanese government, government bonds. bonds. Yep. And uh, they're offering you, for a 10-year bond, 0.4 of 1%, so 40, 40 basis points. So you've got a huge um, distortion there where there's one buyer and, and all the banks are selling and everyone else is selling. So I don't see those, that as sustainable. I think those rates will start creeping up and there will be, they are debasing their currency, so there will be some effects on general prices, I suggest, because it's just imported inflation and some economists call it bad inflation because it's not helping um, activity is just a transference of, of costs from one, one currency to another. Europe's the interesting one because the pressure is on the ECB to, to do more QE because prices are flat to even lower than they were a year ago. However, they have to be quite clear that the French are coming to the party in terms of reducing their deficit and it's got to get down to about 3%. And so there's still quite a lot of resistance. And as we've talked about at other meetings, you know, falling prices does not necessarily result in deferral of consumption. And that's what the concern is when, it's, uh, when we talk about QE. Are we actually seeing a deferral of consumption? And that's the question that we put. And if there's a belief that that's happening, then you will see the ECB Act, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So for the moment, I think it's really the US and have you noticed that you know the, the New Zealand's talked about tightening, the Brits talked about tightening, and they quickly reversed because they saw how dangerous it was for their currency. So the, the big outcome of this, I think, is the US and the US dollar going higher, but everyone's on the trade, and everyone's against the euro at the moment, and certainly against the, the Japanese yen. So it's interest rates and currencies that we are really watching. And we've started to, or we have taken a position in the yen, sorry, on the uh, euro, because everyone has just gone completely crazy. And it's pretty competitive. The yen is different because they are just doing virtually limitless QE. And so we don't want to earn the yen. No, no. You will make it out of uh, owning the exporters. For yeah. out of, uh, and the exporters Japan. will make a lot of money. Yeah. 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 So your, your view is basically interest rates to stay lower, lower for longer rather than uh, sharp so. jump upwards. So. Unless we see these labor costs in the states move up. And there is tightness, you know, down at the Gulf Coast where they're doing a lot of construction, chemical industry coming from the, the uh, cheap gas and liquids. You're seeing a lot of work there and, and labor rates are high, they're a bit like our mining boom. But um, in the rest of the country, it's not quite evident yet. Okay, thanks very much for your insights. Thanks very much for your time. My pleasure. Thank you, Mark.